What's up guys? So tonight gonna be doing another bank fishing trip as usual. Uh, at least my past few videos have been that way anyhow. Um, setting up out here on the riverbank. I'm gonna have, uh, well Mitchell is here. Mitchell will be joining me uh, later on in the video once I get it started. And uh, we're gonna do a little catfishing and camping. Um, as far as our setup, we're don't have anything too particular. Y'all have seen me fish this area. I'm gonna kind of we're gonna spread our baits out, go from shallow to deep, and I just fish a variety of uh, live bait and cut bait. We've got uh, multiple sun sunfish species that we're gonna be using, and uh, Mitchell even brought a bass. I'm gonna say two things on the bass. One, the bass came out of a farm pond, and two, it is legal to use bass where we're at. Um, you can call the game warden and ask him for yourself if you you disagree with me, but it is legal. Uh, so he's going to throw that bass out there, and uh, it paid off for him, as we'll see. But conditions-wise, I do want to touch on that real quick. We've uh, we had a little bit of rain come in about 24 to 48 hours ago, and I one it brought the it was a cold front, so it brought the air temperatures down. Uh, we got about an inch, inch and a half of rain, which spiked the water level up a little bit, and then last night we got the second uh, spike from that rain as far as the water level goes. So that's a key thing. Uh, I just wanted to bring up because that definitely helps with the bite. And two, uh, our temperature, water temperatures went from about 88 to 89 degrees and dropped all the way down to about 78 degrees. So 10 degree drop in water temperature and then air temperatures due to that cold front. Uh, I think yesterday it was in the 80s versus we've been in the high 90s before this cold front. And last night it even touched, I want to say, in the 50s, uh, which is pretty cool for this time of year. So that's our, our weather conditions and water conditions that we're, we're fishing with for this trip. So I just wanted to point that out for you guys. Um, other than that, I'll let you guys get to the uh, footage. There's our first one. <laughs> Let's see what we got. It's not big, but it's uh, a fish. I think he's still on there. He might have actually come off, y'all. Yeah, I think I pulled the hook. Dang. Nah, he's swimming right. He's swimming right to me. Look at that. I think we got us a, we got us a little blue, y'all. Little old baby blue cat. And he's hooked good. Guys, we got us a dink for the fiery little dink, feisty little dink, dink for the night. There's our first fish. I'm actually going to put him on a stringer. I'm gonna make a taco out of him. I don't usually keep much, but he's a good eating size, so. Put him out back in the water for now, keep him alive, and uh, we'll skin him up later.
Hey guys, there's our second fish for the night. I'm not sure if I actually got this on my chest cam or not. I, I think I turned it off instead of turning it on, but either way, I should have it on the uh, takedown camera. So might not be good audio, but hopefully y'all caught some of that. But either way, second fish on cut bait. Same area as that one I just uh, put on the stringer came out of. So I'm gonna throw this one back and then I'm gonna bait back up. See if we can catch some more. There's one, guys. There's a fish. <clears throat> I was wondering when we're gonna get another one. We've been kind of dead in the water here for a little while. Uh, trying out my new light tonight, thanks to uh, Wayne with Tree Limb Fishing. This thing, uh, remote control, so I can leave it off while I'm sitting waiting for a bite and I have as many bugs and then I've got my black light running so definitely is a definitely nice let's see what we got a little blue cat y'all okay. another little blue All right, y'all, third fish. No, actually, that was live, maybe. I'm not sure that was live or cut. Either way, third blue, nothing big, but it's another fish, guys. So toss him back and uh, bait back up. There is a fish bump in this one. Okay. We're hooked up with it. Yeah, we got him. We got him. It reminded me of a flathead bite. To tell y'all the truth. And it feels like one the way he's pulled. Yeah, he's pulling drag, guys. He is pulling some drag. But a real subtle bite. Yep. That's a good fish, guys. It's a real good fish. Cord in here. Oh, yeah. Trying to take my time getting them in. I didn't even hear my clicker going off <laughs> oh this, this is my quiet clicker and i just happen to see the rod just lightly start bouncing a little bit i'm sorry i ain't talking as i usually do i've got kind of an audience tonight and uh, i get a little a little shy sometimes come on in buddy Another one on a little piece of cut bait. He's not pulling as hard as he was. Uh, he might not be. He might have fooled me a little bit on his size. He felt. He felt good there when he first hit, hit it and started running. He's coming around. I'm about to get a glimpse of him. Uh, that's a pretty, that's a decent flathead. There he goes. It's a decent flathead. I'm tickled to get him. Well, I ain't got him yet. I'm tickled to see him. I'll be more tickled when I actually get my hands on him. That's a good fish, y'all. Good fish. All right, guys. There's, there's our flatty for the night, y'all. 
It's a good fish. I'm tickled to death to, to get him. Oh me. He's a he's a pretty girthy one too. He uh he ain't got much length, but he's he's definitely solid, so I'll get a quick measurement on him before I throw him back and uh we'll see what he is. But either way, I'm tickled to death to get him. There y'all go. Let y'all see that belly. Alrighty. Alright, bud. Back to go. back in the water. He's a pretty fish. Okay. Get you spun around here. So hopefully he'll take on off good here in just a second. Alright man. You ought to have caught your breath by now. Let's see if you'll swim on off. You ready? There he goes. He's gone. Beautiful fish. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna show y'all my new toy and uh, my black lights I've, I'm testing out tonight. Uh, a new light I've got is actually something Wayne with Tree Limb Fishing put me on to. So I definitely appreciate the hookup on that light. That is, this is a, this is a sweet light. It's got a multiple colors which I can kind of you can see them changing here also I can control the brightness on it which and then obviously as you see sorry about the focus on this guys it's uh, wireless and it picks up from a long ways away so that light is is awesome so anyhow my other thing I'm gonna show you guys is the black lights and it makes a oops let's turn this off it makes a huge difference so bear with me one second i'm gonna turn this off and i gotta bump up my iso on here so y'all can actually see them then uh, mitchell's got his uh, ring lights over here it looks kind of like a disco out here so give me not a disco but a club i don't know same thing i guess <laughs> all right give me just a second i'm gonna let y'all check them out all right guys it's a little bit easier to see in person. It's hard to get real good footage on camera of this. Um, I've just got these black lights laid out in here for now. Once I, if I ever get them mounted and make them a little bit more directional, it'll it'll definitely help make the the line glow better. But still does pretty good the way the way I've got them, and you can you can see it well. Another thing, uh, check that out. There's the uh, Trippy Cat Tackle Glow in the Dark Grippers. They're, uh, they're pretty bright and uh, we'll jump over here and there's all of Mitchell's UFOs on all his rods floating around up there so all right here's just a few more angles for y'all if y'all have questions on the lights just uh, let me know uh, they're uh, LED strip I think it's like seven or eight foot long and it's waterproof Wayne put me onto those as well, so uh, I got to give him credit for that also. Mm. You get it, man? All right, there you go. I heard something screaming and bouncing up and down, and I was in a pretty heavy sleep. Oh, I need to come around there and land that thing for you. Let me get some grippers. Mm, it's getting dewy. Oh, where you at? Take it easy, take it easy. Looks like a good fish, ain't it? Flathead. Yep. You got you a good fish. Oh yeah. Well, that was the bass. Yeah. Good fish. I don't necessarily need grippers. Oh, you got you a nice fish. Now, this is a community fish. I told you where to cast. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got you a good one. Oh, 
Easy, easy. Uh. He got me. You come up here. I ain't never in my life. I have been. Don't lose them. I'm not. I'm getting them right here. <clears throat> Alright, we're good now. You calm down. I cannot get my. <clears throat> Now that is a <laughs> yeah. I just got soaking wet. Ah, uh, pretty fish. Oh man, uh, he slipped my finger. My other hand sore because the other one slipped me good. Alrighty. Guess we got him a good one. That's pretty fish, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't 40 pounds, but <laughs> they still nice. I'll be tickled with them. Um, spin them around a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Good, good fish. It is one of the first live bait fishes. That is true. That Flathead. is. I don't think that's probably the biggest live bait um, catfish I've actually seen this year. That's crazy if you think about it. That's a, he's actually, it looks like where he's healed up, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, uh, he's been active for a while, I guess, since the spawn. But either way, that's a great fish, man. I'm going to get a couple pictures for you and uh, let you toss them back. So I dropped the ball last time I put my tent up. I, uh, when I get home, I usually sp spread it out and let it air out because it gets dew and all kinds of stuff on it. But, uh, and I did that last time, but apparently I rushed the, pro rushed the process and uh, I got some mold on my tent now. And uh, I opened this thing up, well, spread it out and set it up and you ain't ever smell such a stink. And uh, fortunately I brought these wipes sanitation whatever wipe that uh i'd gotten and uh supposedly you're not even supposed to put them on your skin but i didn't know that when i packed it and i wasn't going to use them but either way got these wipes right here and uh, i wiped everything down and tried to get rid of as much mold as i could but now i can't put my uh, nice uh dew cover thing on here because if i do i'll suffocate of mold in here so hopefully we don't have a heavy dew tonight if if we do uh I'm gonna wake up pretty wet because uh, I got me a big old canopy up here of openness. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, let y'all know uh, what's going on. I'm not happy about it. So uh, make sure you let your tent dry out. That's my tip of the night for you. Cat fever. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. I hadn't even got the drag adjusted on this one from uh, pulling it out of the box. It ain't real big. I think. It's a flathead. The way he was pulling the clicker and the way he feels, but I could be wrong. He's he's starting to have some, I don't feel like rolls. I think it's a flatty. Let's see. Yeah, a little flathead. This one might've been live bait. Now that I'm looking at it. I don't do that. There you go. <laughs> Little flathead. There you go. All right, guys. 
there is the next flatty for the night. He's a little bit smaller than the past two, but that's okay. Still a still a flat hen, still a fish, so I'm glad to see him. This one, I think, and I'm gonna look again. I think this was live bait. I'm not 100% certain, but I think it was live bait. So I'm gonna try to go figure that out, and if it is, I'm gonna put another piece of live bait back on. But either way, I'm gonna toss him back and uh, keep on fishing. Somebody's got a fish. The what? Somebody's got a fish. Is that you? Uh, maybe. I ain't seeing nothing on me. Yep. Oh, you're right here. Ah. I got it. My shoe's freaking getting caught. He's on. He's on fishing. Oh. Got it. All right, well Mitchell got him another another flatty. You just gonna stand there like a statue? Oh yeah. <laughs> Pretty fish. Another one on cut bait. All right. I'll let you get him tossed back in the water. <laughs> That would be a uh, fish <laughs> on, the, um... on the live bait. I told you I wanted to see that thing bend over with a, a fish on that live bait. <laughs> Look at it. He's happy. I was like, yeah, that fish is feeling good. He's going. It ain't real big, whatever it is. Oh, let me grab my glove. It's kind of... You said that about a 50 pounder. I, oh, I yeah. promise you this, this fish ain't that big. but it feels like a flathead at least and it's a flathead on live bait yep yeah but he ain't that big nah he's little he's little little he just got a little belly where he just swallowed my 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 brim i mean he's uh, he's wild ain't he Make sure he's hooked good, as much as he's played with that thing. He's been messing with it for 15 minutes now. He hooked good? All right. All right, guys. Here is another flatty. Look at this. I'm going to try to get so y'all can see his belly. <laughs> there you go. They all blown up. I mean, <laughs> oh mate, let me get the angle. There you go. Look at that. For as small as he is, he's got a he got him a little pot belly on there. He ought to. He just ate a big old red-breasted sunfish. So either way, there he is. We'll get a quick little picture and uh, we'll toss him back in the water. All right, we got one of them went off. I don't know which one. I had to guess it's probably this live bait because something's still messing with it. Lock it down and see. Yeah, I think it's this live bait. It, it seems like. Do what? I don't think it was. That's a fish. All right, assuming I get him. Uh oh. I've got one bumping. Um, the other live bait just got hit. Either that or this one's run down into the other live bait. I can't tell what. Um, he's definitely crossed me over some stuff. I've got two lines so far. This little baby flathead. He got me all twisted up in these lines. It's a little old baby flathead. 
I'm trying to figure out how he even got me around all these lights. That's a blue. Oh, you took my live bait. Aggravating blue. All right, guys, we got us a blue. Now, I want you to look at this little skinny thing. He took one of my big old pieces of live bait. He couldn't even get that piece of live bait in his little old mouth. But oh well, he killed it and I lost that piece, but uh, we did get a fish. So get him tossed back and uh, put another piece of bait out there. I think I got him. Yeah, I got him. Alrighty. That one. That one is cut bait, I think. No. No, it ain't big. Yeah. yeah. To run them underneath that right there. Probably a. It's like a little, another little flatty. Yep, yeah, another little flatty. Ain't big as nothing. All right, guys. We got us a little flatty here. Early morning flathead. Pretty fish. I think that was on live bait. Had a hard time keeping up with my, my baits tonight. So, kind of bad on my part. I need to do better. But either way, I think it's live bait. So, I'm going to bait back up. I'm going to fish a little bit longer. I'm not expecting much more. But uh, either way, it's another fish. So, uh oh. I got to go help Mitchell. <clears throat> All right. Mitchell is on the board with a blue. That's another one I think on cut bait. Mitchell looks awake, don't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, <should> be, hey. <laughs> All right, we'll let him get him tossed back. I saw it bending over. You good? Nice. I didn't even realize fish you said there he is. I, I thought you saw a carp jump up. <laughs> no, you remember I said there was a there was a fish that hit this while ago? Mm-hmm. And uh, uh he was just Oh thanks, special. I said it. I locked it down. It's all big tail. It's all big tail. Grab your gloves, because my hands, as I said earlier, hurt. All right. Another good fish. Yeah, yep. hold tight, hold tight. All right, Mitchell got him a, another good flatty. Pretty fish. Oh yeah. Will that one come on live or cut? Cut. Cut bait flathead. All right guys, I'm gonna let him give him a toss back and uh, fish a couple more minutes. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this trip. Um, as y'all saw, it was a pretty good night out here. Uh, blue bite was still really off. I don't know if the uh, fish in this area just haven't really come off the nest yet or not uh, but the flathead bite was on pretty good and we ended up with a couple uh, good flatheads to uh, go along with that so no complaints there as far as those fish go um, also I don't usually keep a fish but as I mentioned I kept one so got me a couple fillets in the cooler to take home and uh, actually eat some catfish for once uh, I'll do a catch and cook one of these days but uh, 
I was not prepared for that last night, but stay tuned for that one. But either way, I do appreciate you guys watching the video. If y'all have questions about anything, um, gear, the lights that I mentioned earlier as well, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And uh, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video as well. And if you want to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe. I try to post a video every week or two for you guys. Um, if you're on social media, check out Rock Bottom Cats on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're looking for a catfish group, kind of like a what we used to have, you know, the catfish forums, but now everything's kind of gone to social media. Uh, I run the NC Catfishing Group on Facebook. We're right around 9,500 members right now. So that group's really grown here the past year. A lot of uh, great guys on there, a lot of great information. Um, and I also do a monthly photo contest, which I am now going to start doing some little tackle giveaways with that. So if you're in North Carolina, make sure you jump over there and check that out as well. So once again, I appreciate all you guys watching and I'll catch you guys next time.